uh, tutorial on how I process PDF plans and then send them into Fusion 360 to get the G code. So I'm going to do that with this little chuck lighter here. So uh, basically the same process that I would do for a flight test plane. Um, I'm just going to start by selecting all these little things that I am not going to want in our cut and just running through and deleting these. These guides in the center, I'm going to leave those and just make those into score cuts. So we got just the basic outline now. We're going to go document setup, change this to millimeters and hit OK. And then we're going to export this as a DXF. Export that. It's in millimeters. Hit OK. Then we're going to open up Fusion. We're going to go insert DXF. Choose our ground plane. Select the XF file. Open that. And take a second for it to come in here. OK, there it is. And it gives us this little warning about it doesn't have uh, any design elements like, like millimeter, but then it selects millimeter anyway, so don't worry about that. It's always fine. You can double check it against the grid to kind of see that it's the right size, but it is. So then we just want to move this so that it's correct for our XY plane. So I'm going to edit this. Actually, I need to select it here, edit it here modify, move, and I want this to be the long way down our Y plane. Let's slide this up a little bit. Okay, there's the X. And that's pretty good on the Y. Let's move that up a little bit. Seven, five. Okay, finish sketch. And there's probably a faster way to do that without starting and stopping a bunch of times. But what I want to go in and do is separate these lines that I want to be a score cut. So we go back into Edit Sketch here. Select this. Holding down Shift in order to select multiple lines. And then Control Copy, Apple Copy. Hit Finish Sketch. And then create a new sketch. And I have to select my ground plane again. And then Apple V, paste. Now we have those lines on its own sketch. So now let's go back here. And we just select the lines. And zoom in a little bit. Select the lines, press delete. and then finish sketch. Okay, so that about does it. I do remember we need two of these for this one. So let me go back to edit sketch and then I'm going to copy this part. Again, holding shift. Uh, let's drag and drop that actually. Shift to select these pieces as best I can. Okay, let's just make sure I got this corner. There we go. Copy and then paste. And I'm going to flip this sketch because I want it to be opposite since I'm using some foam board that has a black side and a white side. I want them both to be the same color. sketch okay so now we got those duplicated so now we need to move to the manufacturer tab and we need to create a new setup which is how we create our stock so we're going to use cutting we're going to go mode is a fixed size box which is 508 millimeters and 762 millimeters for the Dollar Tree foam board, and it is about five millimeters thick. 
And then I want to try and center this with our origin point a little bit more. So if we go model position, X, change that to one. Slide that over a little bit, five. And then position, change that to zero. Go to 100, 200, 150. All right, that's pretty good there. Okay, um, so that does it. Oh, let's select the model too. There we go. That does it for the setup. And we can kind of see how it'll be laid out on our board. We'll have enough left over to do another one if you want. So now let's go to fabrication. Uh, we're going to choose cutting. And we're going to create a tool. And choose laser cutter. I don't know for sure if this matters how big you set the size. I use 0.5. It may change what size of cuts it can do. Uh, okay, so to begin with, let's go to etch. So that'll do our score cuts. I'm going to open up our sketches here. Shut off our main one. There we go. So let's choose all these. All right, so then you do this, 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 this. And then since I'm doing a score cut, the compensation and the linking should be none. So those are okay. And I have no errors right here, so that's good to go. So now let's do a full cut. Oh, the tool's already selected. Uh, cutting mode is through. We're going to switch back to our other geometry. Okay, and let's select the paths we want to cut. Start out with these holes in the fuselage, and then do horizontal, wing, engine cowl, and finally the body. Now, one thing to do here is sideways compensation. We want to change that to center. And when we go to linking, we don't want any linking. Otherwise, the tool will dive in at an angle and it'll create extra cuts. And then for piercing, again, we don't want it to start anywhere. We just want it to go straight to the line, straight down. Choose OK. Now we'll process our tool path. Now you can go back up to Setup and go to Simulate. And you can see how our tool is going to move. It's going to do those score cuts first. And then it's going to go through the outsides. And that all looks right. So there's one more thing that I'll do before I actually go to start this cut. Um, but let's post-process this first. So I choose post-process. And I'm using the post-processor that I posted on the Facebook group, but it's made for the Tim Save, Time Save. Uh, when you go down to properties, it lets you set your speeds. Actually, the speed's set back in the tool um, settings under the setup. But then you can do your laser etch, laser off, laser through, laser vaporize. So like for etching, I've changed mine to S50 because S60 was not, uh, it was actually a little too deep. And then we'll choose OK on this. And we'll name it Chuck Cat G code save. And if everything works OK, it'll open a text file that has your G code. So then the last thing that I do is I go to Camotics, which is some free software you can get and it will simulate the G-code file. And basically, I only look at one thing when I do this. I, I make sure that everything looks like it is right. And then these lines that move across, if they're red, these means that these are fast movements, basically, and it won't cut through those. Uh, occasionally, I had some errors where it was using a green line on these awkward movements, and then it did make cuts through the board. So as long as they're red and only the green lines are for your model, then you should be good to go. All right, that's it. That's how you use uh, Illustrator and Fusion 360. Have fun.